There's an application, um, ABC Recurring Meetings, and this one is meant to give you the ability to make a meeting and then make copies of it, like recurring every Monday or every Tuesday or maybe every day for time cards. Or maybe you've got tasks to submit reports every week and you want to be able to send those off into the future. Well, there used to be a recurring meeting um, script Robert McDonald put together many years ago, but it was limited to 50 and it totally broke when, when QuickBase required that uh, you couldn't have any JavaScript in buttons. So the script has uh, been revised. We've extended out to 999 uh, recurring events, should you want to do that, so where it was limited to 50 before. And now um, it all starts with creating the script. Now, this application contains the two files that are necessary to have here. Um, and I'll take a look at those in just a second, but let's first um, create a meeting. We're going to go into contacts and look at David Crane, who's the first contact, and we're going to create a, uh, a meeting down below here. There is no meeting agenda yet, so we're going to say the date is, let's say, 1-1 for simplicity, and we are in Santa Bell. Uh, Santa Bell, and we are, the host is going to be Kirk Allen Tracy, and it is to, um, uh, find seashells. Okay, so there's the very first meeting that we have, but we meet every week. And uh, so what, how are we going to do that? Well, you could add and add it. You could import a CSV file, create it in Excel and import it. But by using this script, and this is where we're going to launch this, we're going to first go to the recurring.html page, which I'll show you in a minute where it is. It's in the DB page area, which is going to refer to a JavaScript page, which I'll show you. Create a recurring button. Now, this application um, is looking for something for a, um, any app with an app token. And uh, I want, I'll show you that in just a second. If I look for... Uh, this and I look for recurring and I'm coming down here I have a whole bunch of these in here recurring there it is and there's two tables contacts and meetings I'm going to select meetings so it's going to say okay let's look at that table what fields are in that table oh these fields are and I want the date field so I'm going to create this recurring button and it says okay and there it we have created that button inside the app let's go back Let's go over to meetings and now look and you can see there's a make recurring here. And it's of course it's a it's a uh, formula URL field that is a an HTML link. I'm going to click in here and this isn't required, but you can see it generated the code that's going to be calling on this DB page called recurring, but it's also going to be passing this DB and the record ID over to it, as well as what the date field is that it uses for reference, which is field six in this in this particular one. So we've got this. I want to turn on the button. And so we'll hit save. And now we've got a button um, here instead. Let's make this reoccurring. I'm going to click on reoccurring. And I'm going to say I want this to happen weekly. You can do it monthly or yearly. I want to do it weekly and I can say do it after make this for uh, recur you know every uh, number of times if we want to I'm gonna say um, every uh, I'm gonna say for 51 more weeks since we've got the very first one and I'll say create okay now we're going to see all of the 51 meetings that were just created for David Crane let's go back it's going back and linking to this um, by reference. And now I'm going to click on the top, which sorts them. This one was out of view. So we've got 52 weeks here. You can see that we've generated. OK, when we um, are on that home page, a couple of important things. It's very important that this is in your application so that the script will talk to this. Uh, that's uh, important thing. So you want to go up to your settings for the, your application, go down into your app properties, scoot down here. You want to require app tokens, click on app tokens and paste that in there um, by 
let's say create a uh, signing an existing token you paste that in there uh, make it okay to copy in case you ever make a copy of your application the other um, items that are required are these two DB pages one DB page is for for kind of the UI that's been um, done here and one of them here is for the actual processing of uh, making the looping and creating of all the records that are in there so a combination of two if you copy both of these put them into your application and uh, and then once you find that application you can click on this and just grab this uh, I know you're not seeing it here let me pull it down uh, you just grab this and put that on uh, use that link or just do it as you will right here uh, we could do the exact same thing again. We could look at uh, asterisk space and look at all the applications I've got in here and there is the recurring. So we do recurring meetings. Uh, we choose the date and it's going to create a second one. So I'll say create the button. It says it's all done. We go back into uh, QuickBase. Uh, we'll go into the home page again. Uh, we'll go over to meetings and you'll see that we now have uh, there we've got this we've just keep making them and making them and they're they're identical to each other as it uh, recreates this anyway things like this are covered um, Sam Tracy now is doing the webinars every Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. East Coast time. You can find that at quickpace.com slash webinars. Have a great day. Thanks.